you're really only need two things to grow your business. Number one, a Google Workspace account and number two, money. And honestly, without the first, it's a lot harder to get the second. I've been running my business for over three years. And the very first step I take with every new project is setting up Google Workspace. It makes me look professional from day one and keeps my business organized behind the scenes. For example, Workspace gives you a professional business email. So when I reach out to a potential client, I don't look like just another person with a free Gmail. I look like a business that they can trust. It also keeps all your calendars and meetings in one place. That means you can manage your time better and your clients get a smooth, professional experience every time they work with you. And of course, you still get the same Google apps you already know and love. Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Meet, but they're optimized for business. Business. That means you can collaborate, share files, and run meetings the way real businesses do. So in this video, I'll walk you step by step through how to set up Google Workspace so you can look professional, stay organized, and make it easier for clients to say yes to you. By the way, this video is sponsored by our very own plugin, WP Remote. It's the all-in-one platform for managing client websites, keeping them secure, and making sure they run smoothly. I've left a special plan linked in the pinned comment below, so definitely check it out. Now let's get back to the video. All right, the first step is to head over to workspace.google.com. If you already have a domain, for example, I have mine with Bluehost, you don't need to buy a new one. You'll just connect the domain you already own during the setup. If you don't have one yet, you can still buy it directly through Google or any other domain provider you want to use. When you click Get Started, it'll ask you for your business name. Then you'll choose your domain. If you already own one, just select I have one I can use. Next, you'll set up your very first workspace email. This is usually your name like you at the rate your business.com. This will become your main login for Google Workspace. Once your account is active, go to admin.google.com. This is where you manage everything. Your users, security settings, and all the apps. Think of this as your business control center. From here, you can add new users if you have a team. Each user gets their own login, their own Gmail inbox, and access to the same apps. If you're solo, you can skip this step, but if you ever need support at the rate or sales at the rate email without paying for a license, you can set up something called Alysis, which I'll show you later. Now let's log into the actual apps you'll use every day. In the top right corner, click the little grid icon and you'll see Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Meet, Chat and more. Gmail works exactly like the free version, except it's branded with your business domain. Drive gives you cloud storage for all of your files. Calendar syncs across your devices and makes scheduling with clients easy. Meet is built in for video calls. All of this is included with Workspace, so you're basically getting one login that organizes your business. Now, let's say you want a sales at the rate or support email, but you're a one-person business. You don't need to pay for extra accounts. Instead, go to Admin Console, click on Users, look for your name, and add alternate email addresses. Now, any email sent to sales at the rate or support at the rate goes straight into your inbox, and you can also send them from those addresses inside Gmail. This makes you look bigger than you are without any extra cost. Now, before you send your first client email, add a proper signature. Go into Gmail, click on Settings, and then choose See All Settings. Now, look for Signature. Add your name, business, phone number, and maybe your website. This adds instant credibility. One last thing that I always recommend is turning on two-step authentication. Go to your Google account, click on Security, and add two-step verification. This adds an extra layer of protection for your business email, which is the last thing you want hackers to get into. That's it. You're officially up and running with Google Workspace. You've got your professional business email, access to all of your apps, and the admin console set up to scale with your business. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're going to love it. Click here and I'll see you there.